Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to create a pi of a pi uh, and also there's also a variation called a bar of a pi. But I'm going to cover pi of a pi because creating bar of a pi is pretty much the same thing but it's just visually a little bit different. So why would you want to create a pi of a pi? This is an example here and the reason why is sometimes if we have a pie chart and we've got data slices or slices that are very thin because the data the data points are very small so it's almost inconsequential you can't really see it one way to highlight it or bring out a little bit more is creating a smaller chart of that slice or basically a smaller pie chart of that slice and that just makes it a little bit it's, it, it brings it out a little bit more so you can view the components of that particular slice. Let's show you how to create this. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this table over. Uh, it's already all, actually over in sheet 2 here. And what you need to do is I can just select into this table. It's, it's Excel should be smart enough to figure out that this range of uh, data here is what I want to use. And I'm going to insert, go under pi, and I'm going to select this particular pi of a pi. So once I select that, it's going to create this particular chart. And that's all well and said and easy, but there are some things that you probably want to enhance or modify a little bit for this particular pie. Now, by default, what Excel is going to do is it's going to take the bottom third of the results. Um, you can see that we've got nine items and, of course, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's going to take the bottom third of the results and put, break it out into that smaller pie. Let's say you want to enhance this a little bit or change it a little bit. You can just select within the the pies and it's going to select all of it and go right click and select format data series. Once you select format data series, I'm going to bring this over here. What you can do is you can change some of the selection. So let's say that right now what it's doing is it's splitting this by position, the last three values. As I mentioned before, by default when you create this, it's going to take the last third. You can have it where maybe you don't want the last third. Maybe you want the you want half of it. Uh, basically, um, about uh, let's say five. So we can just increase this value by five, and it's going to take these five here, these five here, and put them into the pie here. Let me go and select back into the pie. Let's bring up that format data series window. So that's for the position. You can also do it by value. Let's say that. We want to have, we want to have everything in the second pie that's under six million. So I'm going to go ahead and put six, one, two, three, one, two, three, and just tab that. And anything under six million, which is going to be these five items, are going to go into the second chart. We can also go by percentage value. Now, percentage value, let me go ahead and bring this chart back over here. Percentage value is how much percentage of this is the, of the total. So if we did a quick calculation here, let me just go ahead and make a total here. I'm going to use Alt equal sign. That's a keyboard shortcut to bring the total of that. And I'm just going to, for this cell, I'm just going to equal this divided by that and press F4 to get the dollar sign so it doesn't change when I copy it down. I'm going to do Control Enter and bring this down here. Right, left click, select that fill handle and bring it down and I'm just going to go ahead and select the percentage. So now we know what the percentage is. Oh, I might need to bring this out a little bit to see the values. Okay, so if I want to go and do percentage, let's say that anything under, I don't know, anything under 11%, and let's just choose the last four items here, right? Anything under 11 percent, it's going to choose one, two, three, four. Those four items. So this is 11 percent. Item six, seven, eight, and nine. And you can see that orange is the biggest one here, which is item six, which is 4.89 million. So that's to adjust the amount of items that you would put in that secondary chart. Now there's also here where it says pie, pie explosion is if you want to bring uh, the wedges out. So if I wanted to bring the wedges out for everything, I can just increase that and that's going to do everything. And that doesn't look, really look that great. Maybe I just wanted to do just this particular wedge. I can just select that wedge. You can see now the points are highlighted here with these circles. And I can just move that, expand it out a little bit, or I can just type a value in. And so it gives a little bit more highlight to that particular wedge where we have our secondary data. Now I'm just going to bring that back now this gap width determines the gap width between these two circles, these two pies. So if I want to increase that, I can just go 
and select increase that and it's going to get these going to get a little smaller but the width between or the gap between here gets a little bit bigger but uh that just is an example there if you wanted to spread it out let me go ahead and reset that now the second plot size is this plot right here this particular pie a good practice is to have this pie smaller than the, your your primary pie because uh, in essence you're saying that the values here are smaller so this looks this is about 75 percent maybe we don't want that to be too big maybe we'll make make it 50 percent and press tab and that kind of shows that you know these values are much smaller here much smaller than the, the circle so it's kind of a, a visual appeal so it's up to you. You can go with the default of 75% or go change it to something else to make it a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger. So these are the items that you can change around. Now, as I mentioned before, there's the other there's the other chart that's also called a bar of a chart. So if I select my, my chart here and go under design and click chart type and go and select in the pie, it's under the pie. You can also select a bar of pie. And basically it's the same thing, but it's going to give you a column chart. So really when they say bar chart, it's actually a column. So you have this column of data. Uh, and if I right click the, the data here and go under format data series, you'll see that you're, ha you're going to have the same items that you can modify. You have the split series and explosion, the gap width, and the second plot size. So there's where you can change it also for the bar of pi. But you'll see a lot more often where you have the pi of pi. Uh, where it looks like there's two pies, uh, and this is something you see a lot more often, maybe in magazines or newspaper articles. But there you go. That's how you would create a pie of pie or a bar of pie. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.